Hey guys, it's Silent Shooter from my Battlefield 2 Editor Tips and Tricks series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add ambient triggers and dynamic effects to your map. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to add ambient sounds, so I decided to make this one as a follow-up to that to show you how to add triggers. If you don't know what a trigger is, it's basically a radius and where a player will move or shoot or do something and trigger a effect. So whether that be birds or frogs or dust. Now basically it's really easy to do but it's kind of hidden within the editor so I wanted to make this tutorial to make it easier and so you guys understand it better. First thing you need to do, open up your map, open up Project Reality Edit folder when you load your map if you're mapping for Project Reality. It also works for Battlefield 2 Vanilla. So basically you need to find an area where you actually want to add your trigger. As I mentioned earlier, a trigger is an area where someone will walk through. So you want to have uh, an area decided upon that um, a potential player might actually go to. So I chose these three trees and this rock. What I'm going to do today is actually make a bird trigger. And this is one of the simplest types of triggers you can do. It's when a player moves in it, it will uh, set off a chance of birds flying out of the trees. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. If you want, you can open your tweaker bar with your view and then pressing the tweaker thing and that will actually show your tweaker bar and it'll make it a lot easier to actually edit your effect. So what you need to do now is right click on your screen where you want the trigger to start. And now you're going to decide and choose the create ambient trigger uh, little tab here in the pop-up menu. Now we need to name our ambient trigger, so I'm just going to call this bird5. As I already have four other bird triggers on my map. Basically what I want to do now is select that trigger with my selection box and my mouse. You notice that the tweaker options change when I selected the trigger. We need to edit these first before we actually make the bird trigger. So what I want to do is make a radius where the player will move through to actually trigger the effect. So I'm going to choose something, say, 7, which in this small little space right here is probably big enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this right in here, which is a little traffic area. Now, trigger type. Very important. This changes how the trigger behaves to uh, things happening within its radius. So there are a few different options and I'm going to go through them all. Time. This means that in a certain area of time, um, say it be every 20 seconds or so, the trigger will um, make the effect happen. Uh, this doesn't need to be player um, based, it can just happen by itself. Fire, which is the second trigger option, uh, basically means that when someone's in the radius and they shoot something, it will make the trigger happen or start the effect uh, on the trigger and it has a chance so it may not happen. Move, basically self-explanatory. This is when someone moves within the radius. An explosion, also self-explanatory, is when something explodes in the radius. So I'm going to go ahead and choose move. Now that it's uh, showing that I've chosen move in my trigger type, I can change the chance. And this is also important, saying that um, the trigger may not or may go off. Zero means, which is the default, means that uh, it's not going to happen regardless of what happens within the radius. So I'm going to change this to 0.7, which means it has a 0.7 chance of it actually going off. And the time means, um, uh, the time you don't need to change unless you're using the time trigger type. That's just the time in between when the trigger actually goes off. Minimum time between trigger, which is right here, is important because this means this is the uh, time it takes for the trigger to reload. So I'm going to choose this to be 20. So every 20 seconds it reloads and it can happen again. Now that I have the actual trigger set up, I can go ahead and add the effect by right clicking and selecting the Create Ambient Effect Bird 5. This creates an ambient effect for my trigger, and basically I have to just name this. So I'm just going to call and um, remove that number sign and put a 1. This will create a little pink thing that should be right here, but sometimes the editor glitches out and it won't actually show it. 
but trust me, it's right there. This is the actual effect. This is where the birds are going to spawn from when someone triggers the effect with the trigger radius. What I need to choose um, now is the project on height map. And I'm going to select the box, make sure it's off. What that option does is it basically shows um, the trigger that no matter what happens, the effect will come off the ground when it's on. If I deselect it like I just did, I can move the effect into the tree and the effect will start from where the position of the effect uh, box is in the tree. So I'm just going to go ahead, zoom in a bit, and move this, see the little pink? I'm going to move this into the tree right here. So I'm just going to go like this, make sure it's at the base. Now this is for birds, so I want to look uh, semi-realistic. So I'm going to move it up into the middle of the tree so it looks like birds are coming out of it. Now, now that we did that, we don't have to select anything else in the tweaker bar. Radius doesn't matter. Num networked effects doesn't matter. And trigger ID, I would just leave it as what the editor tells it to be. Okay, so now that we went over everything above the uh, linked effect container, which is what we're going to edit next, we can go ahead and do that. So basically, you need to have this in the tweaker bar, and you need to select it right here if it ever works. There we go. And the, our little pop-up box will come up. Basically what you need to do now is scroll down and they all say E underscore something. The ones that we need for trigger are E uh, underscore lowercase d amb underscore and then the name of the file. Basically I just want bird because remember we're making a uh, um, a bird trigger. So you need to select that one and press OK. Now, don't change anything. It's the way it's supposed to be. You don't need to select any of these things right here. Now that our bird uh, trigger is in the tree and it should look like the birds are coming out of the tree when someone runs over our trigger, if they actually trigger it, we can go ahead and uh, save this. But one trick I want to show you first is if you want to see what it will look like when someone triggers the effect, right click, uh, uh, first sorry, select the uh, trigger that we made earlier, and then right click, and this will bring up this box again. Now what we can select this time is trigger ambient effect, and this should, theoretically, it's not 100% working in the Battlefield 2 editor, it's also a glitch. If you haven't noticed yet, this program has a lot of glitches but it's really handy. We select this and there should be birds coming out of the tree. So let's go ahead and see if this works. And there was, it just lagged a lot so I'm not sure if it captured that. Um, anyways though, that is the tutorial. I hope you guys learned a lot and again if you want me to continue doing these things please comment in um, the description. Um, and tell me what you want me to do next. I'll see if I can do that. Anyways, uh, happy Battlefield 2 modding.